50,000 baby hairs all over the place right now. Can you tame yourselves? All right, so today for Foundation Friday, we have a new drugstore guy over here. This is by Revlon. It's the new Candid Photo Ready Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. I feel like it's been a hot minute since Revlon released new foundation, right? This foundation retails for $10.99. You get less than a standard fluid ounce in here. You only get 0.75 fluid ounces of product. So this foundation launched with 30 shades, which is Definitely a step up for the drugstore. The lightest shade right now is Buff 120 and Buff in their normal Revlon photo finish. Why am Color stay? Wow, totally was blanking on that name for a second. Buff in that foundation is definitely like third or fourth in the line. So I'm assuming they will come out with lighter shades, especially if they launched with 30. So it's promising, but if you are fairer than me, this one probably won't work for you. So as I'm editing this video now a couple weeks later, I just noticed that they actually have 31 shades now and they added one shade a new light shade porcelain 110. So that's exciting. So now there is a lighter shade than when I had ordered this. We're gonna do swatches in a second just to give you a little bit about this. It says it's a skincare inspired foundation that's ultra blendable, ultra buildable, anti-pollution, creamy texture that goes on like a moisturizer. It's supposed to keep your skin feeling moisturized all day. It has medium buildable coverage with a natural finish made without oils, parabens, synthetic dyes, and fragrances. Hell yeah, thank you Revlon for not putting fragrance in here. That all sounds good to me. My skin type is dry. If you're new here, something just flew into my eyeball. I'm gonna insert swatches right here so we can see how the shade 120 compares to some of my other foundations. I'm also gonna pop in a few from the drugstore to give you some comparison. Okay, so here's some swatches. Right here's the Revlon Candid Foundation in the shade 120. Next over is Revlon Color Stay in 110, the lightest shade, and 150 buff. Here's Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. Zero Life Proof in 101, and then the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Live Shade Porcelain. If you enjoy Foundation Fridays, you can give this video a thumbs up. If you want to stick around, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. You can subscribe, and Foundation Fridays go up every single Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, I'm super confused because I'm looking back on Ulta just to read about this for a minute, and it says coming soon on 916. You guys are seeing this in a few weeks right now. What's the date? Today is the 11th of September. I ordered this on Ulta like a week and a half ago. It's in my hands from Ulta.com. So I don't know if they accidentally like released it on Ulta, but now they have it as coming soon. Like you can't purchase this. When you guys are seeing this video, it'll be up. But anyways, I don't know if that was like a little flop or what. All right, medium buildable coverage that feels like moisturizer. Sounds good to me. This packaging reminds me of the cosmetic CC cream. So I'm gonna squeeze some out. I've got my damp sponge here ready to go. This is my LA Girl sponge. And on the other half of my face, where to go? I'm gonna use my Sigma FAD flat top. I'm gonna start out with a sponge on this side of my face. Actually, I start out with a brush. And my skin is a little bit more dry this morning because I did up my retinol. And last night I fell asleep without putting on my rosehip oil. And I can actually like see a difference when I don't use rosehip oil at night. My skin is so much more dry in the morning, so I did moisturize really well this morning. I wouldn't say it feels like a moisturizer, but it does feel not too drying. It doesn't feel like as thin as a moisturizer. It does feel like a foundation. Hold up in that mirror. It's looking really nice. Let me see what this looks like up close. That was pretty good coverage. Not looking the best on my nose. I'm liking the coverage of this. And the shade, blend it down a little bit. Shade looks pretty good, I think. Over my dryness, it's not looking too well, like right between here and around my nose area. So maybe going over with a sponge will help this one, but first I'm gonna do a first layer with a sponge on this side. With the brush, I feel like I actually got like high medium coverage, maybe even low full coverage. It did a pretty good job of covering my scarring and stuff right there. So getting pretty good coverage with the sponge on this one too. It does still look like medium coverage with the sponge. I did get a little bit higher coverage on this side, but this side I would say is still medium. I think you could go sponge or brush with this one. You're gonna get a little bit more coverage with a brush, but it doesn't look bad with the sponge and it didn't like totally shear it out. So that's good. Go right over between my eyebrows. Yeah, not looking too hot right there. It says it's supposed to be buildable, so I'm gonna see if we can get this up to full coverage. I'm not gonna do a full on second layer again, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And I'm gonna use the sponge for that. 
Ooh, look at that. You can build this one up to full coverage, ladies and gentlemen. Still doesn't want to totally stick to my nose right there. Okay, that's working a little better, but definitely having some issues going over dry patches. Yeah, it's building beautifully and it's looking like about satin matte finish. It's looking better actually between my eyebrows. Maybe it just needs to warm up to my skin a little bit. Leaf blower, wonderful. Right now it's 11, 12. We've got the pumpkin background today. I'm gonna give this one a few minutes, see if it sets down, see if I need to set my face. But right now it feels like it's definitely setting to almost a powder finish. Right now I'm liking it everywhere, except where I have like extra dryness right now. I'm hoping this one doesn't crease. It looks like it might be a creaser on my upper lip. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna do a uh, pretty basic makeup today, I think, because I'm gonna go run errands. I'm telling myself I wanna go to Home Goods to get a stool, a filming stool, so I can like raise and lower it but I really wanna go to look at fall things. So I might go do that if I can squeeze it in. I really need to get a shit ton of editing done. I'm trying to get everything done right now for Memphis, the wedding in Portugal. Okay, so now it's 11.50, but I just realized you can't, you can barely see it with the pumpkins. Hold on. There we go. Call and check in time, 11.20. So I didn't have to powder my cheek area at all, which is great. It set down enough to the point where I could blend stuff on top of it really easily. So I like that this feels like it's on my skin, like it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide around or anything. In natural lighting and under this lighting, it's looking really beautiful. I love the coverage. The only thing I would point out with this one right now is that if you have a lot of dryness, this might not be the foundation for you. You might be able to make it work because it's not looking like totally awful right here, but there's just certain areas where I do have foundations that look better, but I think if I was wearing this again, I would spray over my Catrice setting spray and that would probably totally solve that issue. But it's still looking really good for having dry skin and for being a matte foundation. But I'm gonna insert a clip right here in natural lighting so you guys can see what it looks like there. All right, so here it is in natural lighting and I'm actually really digging the way that this looks. It does look like more of a satin matte finish, but it doesn't look totally flat. You can see a little bit you know, of do a little bit on my forehead. Ooh, that plant was freaking freezing. I wouldn't say it's making my dry skin look like extra, you know, moisturized and like plump or anything. It's definitely more of a matte foundation, but I don't think it looks bad. And around my nose area, I mean, I've had ones definitely look worse. It still isn't totally sticking to my nose in certain areas. So let's do a flash test. Not bad, I look a little bit washed out. Oh my gosh, my arm. <laughs> All right, my arm just got way too sore holding this camera. Not bad flashback at all, so that's good. It looks very nice and like soft and flash too. I don't think it looks like there's a major bounce back or anything, so I would wear this one in flash. All right, so makeup on the rest of my face for bronzer and highlight. It went in, whoop, can't even see it. Went in with this, uh, what is this called? Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. Use this shade for highlight, the shade for bronzer. I also put that faking it shade on my crease right there. And also that highlight on my lid. That's, this is what I use for eyeshadows too. And then I use the Sigma Blush Cheek Palette and the shade Tiger Lily is so freaking pretty. And then for lips, I kind of mix these two shades by Too Faced. This one is Birthday Sue and then Said Nudes is the lighter one. This one's like more peachy and and a birthday suit is a little bit darker, so I put birthday suit on the bottom and then just layered send nudes over top. Wow, we've got faking it, send nudes, and birthday suit on my face right now. So checking time is 11.20. I'll see you guys in a few hours in natural lighting. All right, we might be a little bit crooked, but I think this is as good as we're gonna get right now. So right now it is, um, what time is it? 4.13, so it's been on for almost five hours. And I've been looking at my face throughout this whole day, obviously, and I've been liking, do I have donut in my teeth? I just got a donut. Told myself I was going on a run today and then somehow ended up getting a pumpkin donut. Cold brew with sweet cream with a pump of pumpkin spice whatever is actually really good. It's not like overly pumpkin-y. I'm not into like the full on pumpkin, but this is a good like toned down version. Anyways, foundation. So I've been actually really liking how this one looks. It definitely is creasing a little bit on my upper lip, but other than that, it's holding up really well, I feel like. I like that I'm not looking like too dry right now as far as what I can see right now. I don't have a mirror like right in front of me. You can see a little bit of crease here on here. I'm gonna go do some fall shopping and just really go all out today. I'm wearing a North Face right now. It's like 68 degrees. <laughs> then I'm gonna go hang out with Rach. We're gonna grab dinner tonight. So check in with you guys later at the end of the night. Okay, so it's now 9.25 p.m. Literally just walked in the door. So it's been 10 hours now. Just looked at my face in the restaurant too and like the bathroom lighting there. 
and it doesn't look bad. There are certain parts of my face where it looks a little bit drying, like right by my hairline up here, but it doesn't look bad. I've had foundations wear way worse on my dry skin. I am getting a little bit of creasing still on my upper lip, but it doesn't seem to have gotten any worse throughout the day. Here's a close look at my forehead. Hopefully that's in focus. Looking a little bit less blue out here. Now I just look orange. Okay, I'm right under my kitchen lights right now. Hello, dill pickle peanuts. I don't mind how it looks. I'm gonna try this again tomorrow. I would put on the Tatcha primer underneath and I'm gonna spray it with Catrice and see how it goes. I like the coverage. I like the shade. It didn't oxidize. For a matte foundation, it looked pretty good. I'm curious to see what you guys think of this. If you've tried it, let me know down below. What's your skin type? How'd it work out for you? Let us all know down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed Foundation Friday. Oh, by the way, I went a little bit crazy with the fall stuff. I do want to show you guys what I got and I'm really excited to like style it and stuff. I got some really cute stuff. If that video is up, I'll link it down below and in the eye right here. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.